Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Food Street. Now today's video is going to be focusing on something that I promised you earlier. It's the decoration glitch blending method. And it's actually rather easy to do once you get comfortable. However, it is very time consuming. Now one thing I love about the game of Food Street is the ability to buy decoration and to decorate. And as you can see with my design here, I'm rather happy with the way it looks. Now decoration is really cool, you've got a lot of options there, and I've been playing the game now for many years, so my actual selection or choices of decoration is rather great. But there are some issues with decoration. You can, at the moment, only place it in the one location. So I'm going to lift up the bridge here, and once we've lifted up the bridge we can actually show you what I mean. So you'll see those green lines there. Those green lines mean that the position I've placed it is OK. Now if I try to place that in another location, it's going to possibly give me red or even green. So there's the red one there. Now the red means I can't put it there because something already exists. The green means that that spot is free, so I could place it if I wanted to. So if I try to place this bridge in different locations, I'm very limited by how I can actually put it. Now I do really wish sometimes I could actually place decoration within decoration. It would make it so interesting. Now, in fact, we can actually do that. There is a glitch within the game at the moment that gives us this ability. Now, I actually have spoken to Bev on this one, and she's telling me that if you want to do designs like this tree, you can do it at the moment, but please be aware it's only temporary. Uh, there's a possibility that when they do update the game, that this glitch option will disappear. So if you are interested in decorating your restaurants at the moment, then go ahead, okay, decorate, blend in your decorations together and have a lot of fun. But there is that possibility that later it will be removed. Now, if they can keep the glitch within the game, I would be really happy. I know a lot of other people would be, but there's no promises on that side. And as you can see, by blending decoration, it does create a really wonderful pattern. I love the way this boat actually just goes around and around the tree. And that's two decorations using the same spot, which is technically not possible within this game. And if I do say so, there are some really wonderful designs out there within the community. Now, I am grateful for the community. They are the one that have found this option. They're the ones that have been sharing it, and I've now tested it out, and I like it. You can see here I've got my little picnic mat there. I've placed the tree in the back corner. Sliding over here as well, you can see my actual pig pen. I've placed a beautiful pink tree within the same location. And if anything, I think that is my favorite part of the glitch of those three designs I've got there. Look at the way that actual trunk of the wood there actually blends in with the pig pen. It looks really, really good. Now, this one does look good, but I'll show you an example later where the glitch isn't 100% perfect. So that's another side effect you've got to deal with within the game. It's not always going to look good. So if you want to make your design look wonderful, it's all about tweaking and testing and moving things around. Sometimes it's really good like this. Other times, maybe it's a little bit on the strange side. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this one. I'm using two of the really cool recent free decoration that we've been given. One is the Ferris wheel and one is is the actual water slide. Now I've got both of those decorations in the same space. What I'm going to do is to teach you how to do it. So let's put one of those back into storage and get rid of it. Now you can see there it's very easy to do. I store it like so. I've also got the slide there. I'm going to put that back into storage and I've got my empty working space. Now what I want to do first of all is just copy this straight over to layout number two. So I've actually copied it over. Now this bit's not so important, but for ease of video, it makes it much easier for me to show you the two area locations. So if I go into edit mode, I show you layout number two, you can see this is exactly the same as layout number one. There is no difference between the two. I've got my working space. The only difference is the actual side tab menu option. Right now in my main layout that's active, it's so easy to find the decoration. I just go down into the shop and I bring the decoration out. Now I've got the two items I want to use here and as per normal I would just drag it out there. I place it in the location I want and you'll see it's green and I say yes that's okay, tick mark and it's placed down. Now if I want to place another decoration, I can't. You can see there like I said it's that red border pattern, it won't let me. So it's just not possible. The only way I could actually place the ferris wheel down there is if I actually take 
out the water slide, then place the ferris wheel down there. So put that one back into storage, I go back into storage, I bring out the ferris wheel, place it where I'd like it, and then bang, Bob's your uncle. But then I can't place the water slide. Now let's go show you how to do this glitch. Now what I've got here is that empty workspace. I'm going to place down the item I want to put into limbo. So this is the item I want to disappear and it's there, it's located. Look at the angle, look at the shape, look at the position it is. I'm now going to copy this one over just to make it easy for me. So it's actually changing this image now to match my main image. So layout number two and layout number one are going to match. Now what I've got to do here, and this is really important, I need to put this back into storage. So I'm going to put this back into storage in the edit mode and that space is now blank. So I'm telling the game give me a blank space. Now what I need to do is go back into the storage and find the item. However, this storage is a bit of a pain because everything is just lumped together. So if you are going to do this edit mode where you're blending, it takes forever and you literally are going to be spending ages and ages and ages. You need a lot of patience because you're having to scroll down all of your decorations. Now later when I go over to the machines you'll see it's much much easier but if you're looking at decoration within decoration, sorry, okay, you've got all of the years worth of decoration for however long you have been playing and it's all located. So Food Street, please, I beg you at some stage in the future, modify this edit mode option so it matches the actual shop situation for the tabs. It would make it so much easier for designing in the edit mode. At the moment it's just really not viable because this takes ages and ages and ages. It's much much easier designing in the main mode, in layout that's active because you can find all the decorations very quickly. And all you would do with the edit mode is literally just save your design. That's the only thing that's beneficial for. Right, so we're sliding down all of my decorations and I've got to find that decoration and we're going past all of my Christmas, we go down past my Chinese New Year, the Valentine's, the love, we go past all the items I bought within the game, there's a safari, we're travelling around the world, a bit of camping there, we're going to France, we leave France and we head on over to Egypt, we go past Egypt, we go under the ocean and then we go down to the carnival and then we find the decoration, oh my god it's so far down and we're not even near any of the furniture yet either. Whoa. So we bring the water slide out. Now I'm placing that there. Now if I actually press the green tick mark and I place this one down like I'm doing here, it breaks the cycle. So what I need to do once I've placed it here is I've got to start the cycle again. I've got to put this one back into storage. So I take that item now that I've just taken from storage and I shove it back into storage again. Oh god I hate this part. Uh, so by putting it back into storage I can then bring it out. Now the thing here is the fact that it's actually floating and I want to make the main decoration disappear. So by placing it in the position nothing is happening because literally I've not put it back into storage. So I go back into my edit mode, like I said you'll see it there. Now I put it back into storage, this is the key thing. You bring it out, you put it back into storage, it's gone! Here we go, sliding down again. We go down, 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 and down, and down, and down. Now, what you're doing here, you're going into your design. You're taking the image out, you're putting it back into storage. Okay, that then gives you your empty space. You then go back into storage. You then bring the decoration out, okay, which is starting your pattern. You'll then bring that decoration out and place it in the spot in question, but you do not gr click the green tick mark. If you click the green tick mark, you've got to start again. You've then got to put that back into storage again and then bring it back out one more time. So when you do find that decoration, like I'm about to do, you'll bring it out and you leave it floating. That floating is really, really important. So it creates a kind of like non-placement of the decoration. So you've not really completed the cycle. And this is an important stage within this. Now the reason you're actually floating that object because you want it to disappear within your main design. You saw earlier by me placing it go back to my main design, it's exactly the same, there's been no effect. So by throwing it into storage, it's like you're putting it away. You bring it back out, you keep it floating. So watch this, I drag it back out again, 
I do not click the green tick mark. I don't click the X. I don't change the angle. I leave it. I close off the edit mode by clicking the big X down in the bottom left hand corner. That X mark there will kill off this menu option and take me back to the main layout number one. So I leave it floating. Right, let's go back into the active one then, and you'll notice when I go there, it's vanished. Now, by leaving that decoration floating, it's not there. If I then go down into my shop and I look where it should be, there's nothing there either. If I look around my design, there's nothing there either. The decoration is gone. It's in limbo. So you can see there it's missing. It's actually not located. As a slide around, it's not anywhere else within my design. I've lost it. But actually, it's there. You just can't see it. So now what I do is I bring out my decoration I want and I place that in the position I want it to be. So technically there's two decoration now here, but you can't see both of them. So to see both of them, I need to come out of my restaurant and go into another restaurant that's not mine. So I'm going into the main roadside stand here. By me going into the roadside stand, I can then go and visit Stella's. I go and visit Stella's, beautiful design by the way, some good ideas there. So, by going into Stellar's, I'm telling the game that I've now come out of my design, I've left the decoration in limbo, I've just placed one down, now I go back to my design and I slide on over to the corner. Both decorations should now be there, they should be in place, one on top of the other, and it looks really, really good. So It's as simple as that that. It's not difficult, it's not challenging, it's actually very, very easy. But the downside is you've got to slide through the storage again and again and again. Now both of these give me experience points. I can click on both of them, I can uh, give them the eggs they need, and then I can actually claim the experience as well. But let me show you one more time. I put the decoration I don't want back into storage here quickly. I've left the one decoration there I do want. Uh, you'll see there it's missing from the design. Okay, I go down into storage and because it's not there already I've got to place it so it's in storage it's great it's already in storage this is perfect so I go down there I look for the decoration bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ooh, look at those some wonderful decoration I'm actually so tempted you know to try some of these other combinations I wonder how mixing them in together would really really look I'm really interested in trying the two volcanoes I'd love to see both of those volcanoes blended in together. I also want to try the car with the actual Anubis dog as well. I think that could be kind of cool. Now the only downside with blending these decorations, and you'll see it later, is a kind of like a glitch flashing effect. Also as well that sometimes when you're trying to blend, the amount of space it takes up is not really the same. So it's kind of like inconvenient in relation to its positioning. It's not really centering sometimes. Okay, we're getting close again, so we're coming down to that decoration. So you'll see, you saw here that I actually put the Ferris wheel back into storage, leaving just the main decoration. I've not copied the design over, so it's exact, it's different. I'm now going in here, I'm placing the decoration. So very, very simple, I place a decoration. I put it back into storage. Okay, so it's now started this cycle. Putting it back into storage, I then go all the way back down again to find it. So like I said, you've got to start the cycle. That cycle is very, very important. So you place it, you put it back in the storage, you find it, you then bring it back out. This is the cycle. If it's already there, it's very, very easy. You put it back in the storage, then you can bring it back out. But it's starting that cycle. That's the key point. Mm, I wonder what else I could do to combine as well. There is some good decoration there. Hmm. Yeah, so many, so many choices. I want to do some of those arches as well, by the way. That could be kind of cool. Uh, definitely want to do some of those water designs, but I worry about the water designs in case the actual side borders doesn't blend in well. I really don't like it when some of the decoration is glitching, glitching. Uh, in relation to the side piece, but you will see that soon. Right, we're almost there, we're coming down to the Christmas, we're coming down to the Chinese New Year, Valentine's bit there, we're buying a decoration safari, we're going camping, okay, oh my god, this takes forever and ever and ever. Ugh, please do change this. Right, now we do it, we bring out the decoration, we leave it floating. Okay, remember, it has to be floating. So, 
Replace the decoration, put it into storage, bring it back out, leave it floating, go into the main mode, the decoration has disappeared. We then go back into the shop again, we bring out the second decoration, so this is the second decoration we want. We place the ferris wheel down, in this case in the position, okay, we press the green tick mark, it's bang in the location I want it to be. We close that one off, we come down to the roadside stall again. We go into the roadside stall, we visit Stella's restaurant. Very, very simple, very, very easy. We go to hers, we look at her design, very nice, okay, I like it. Leave that one there quickly because you want to go back to mine. We go back to my restaurant and then we slide on over to the corner and there you go, it's back again. So two examples there of the same thing. Very, very easy, very, very simple. Now we're going to go and try another one now and I'm actually going to change my design. Now if you want to do the tables it's great but tables means you've got to go all the way down to the bottom. So the furniture as an example like the tables it's really really inconvenient because it's so far down but the actual machinery is much much simpler. Now you'll see here the machinery is already placed. I'm going to put that one into storage and if I click on the exclamation mark it's very simple to find. So machinery is probably the easiest one to hide. Placing it back down again but not clicking the green tick mark. So it's put it in the limbo. So it was there in the storage, go into storage, bring it back out, go back into the main mode, it's now vanished. Perfect. Now this is one reason why I like to copy my design over because it puts everything in the same position. Go into edit mode there in a moment and you will see where it's located in the actual exclamation mark as well. Now before I go back into the edit mode I'm going to place down the walling that I want. So I put the walling down, in this case I'm going to do just the two pieces for the moment. We go into the uh, actual stellas again just to fix it in place. Now what I'm going to do or thinking of doing here is putting walling around the outside of the machinery. Now if I put the walling around the outside of the machinery, it leaves part of the machinery still in effect, but it gives me that wall feeling around the outside. So it does look really, really good in some ways. Like you see there, it actually looks not too bad. Uh, the actual machine itself is smaller than the wall, so lower than the wall, so it doesn't glitch and I can still access it, I can still see it, I can still fit it out. Now we're going to try a couple of other machines here. So you'll see there that the actual pizza oven there is literally taller. And if I go into the edit mode again, I'm going to start sorting that one out. Now you'll see that the machine is gone. It's in the actual side part there, very easy to place. Now I'm going to do the same with this one. I put it into storage. I go into storage. I drag it back out. Make sure it's the right direction, exactly the same position. Don't click it. Okay, we come out of this mode again. Okay, ignore that one by just saying okay. Don't worry about that. It's just a reminder, pop-up message. You can ignore that one. So go away. Click on the X button. So we go back into the active and it's gone again. Now you can see part of the machine sticking out at the side there. Don't worry, because we're going to place down the walling. Now this time I'm going to go a little bit different. I'm going to actually put down some different walling, and I'm going to show you something else here as well. So we go down, we look at different walling, so you don't have to use the same piece of wall. You can start modifying. If you want to make a nice water effect inside the wall here, go with a nice water. You can make a very nice pond here if you wanted to as well. And it could be really, really interesting. Now, I'm going to place down some different panels here. Now, it's your choice on how you want to decorate. You've got so many different choices. The more you buy within the game, the more you level up, the more creative you can be with your designs. If you want to go with some nice spiky walls there, look at that, look at the castle. It does look good. So imagine blending some of these pieces in together as well. Could be rather interesting. But, yeah, I don't like that one. I'll put that one away. Now, at this moment, I can put the decoration away. It's not affecting the glitch at all because I'm in the process of designing over the top of the missing item. So I can keep putting pieces down. I can keep taking them away, putting them down, taking them away until I'm satisfied with what I want to do in this area. So I'm going to place down some pieces there. Okay, I've done two more there. Now, the next part I don't need to worry about because there's nothing there to be glitched out. Now, I'm going to come back into Stellar's and in a moment when I come back to that area, you'll see something that I don't like. This is the bit where the machine is still sticking through, but it's kind of like flashing and it creates a very horrible effect. But I do like the top part of it. So the chimney effect looks good.
because you've got the top part of the actual pie oven creating chimney so you've got a really nice building style but you see there from the bottom of the blue where the machine is actually angled slightly out it creates a horrible little movement glitch and I don't like that part so I would need to place down some more pieces there to get rid of that effect now any items produced will still appear on top of that machine so as long as you remember where your machines are you can still tap on it you can still access them so you can completely cover the machine or you can partially cover like you saw with the drinks machine there uh, and you can still get to them you can still do the recipes you're not having any restrictions to being able to access those machines you can still do your tasks the food still comes on top it, it, it's not making any difficulty there it just that bit looks really ugly so I'm gonna hide that one I'm gonna bring down some different walling here again now I don't need to worry about the walling that I'm adding here it's not technically part of that glitch because there's a space and there was nothing there so we're gonna put down this little divider next one's gonna cost me a gem as well it doesn't matter it's only the one gem and I do like that diner wall but yeah one gem for every piece and I do buy a lot usually so tempted to get more right you'll see there now by adding another piece in the glitch is gone but I've still got a side part so to make it better I would need to then actually place some pieces down here like this one which means doing another machine right now there is one issue here now if I go to put some of these pieces back in the storage like those ones there, not a problem but these ones here that are part of the glitch machine by putting those back in the storage I'm creating a difficulty I can't then go and replace them because I've already gone through the cycle of the glitch so if I start moving the pieces around or start adding items back in and I want to replace it it won't let me you've got to do it again that means going back through the glitch option replacing the pieces to get it because you see they're like it's now red it's not working at all they just will not accept any new pieces even if I start moving some of the pieces around which I'll show you in a second as well it won't accept those either it just doesn't allow you to put anything else down there once you've put it back into storage because you've killed off that glitch opportunity so you've got to go back through the glitch cycle just to be able to cover up that part of the machine again which in some ways is rather frustrating but it's okay right now it does look good okay having a wall piece going around the side there I think could be rather interesting and still leaving my gap for the visitors or for the staff to walk around as well could be kind of cool if you want to make some separate buildings in there block everything off and make it even more interesting again you can do so but do remember some of the pieces do stick out from the walls and you may want to actually uh, move the machines around just to create a better design within your design uh, so think carefully on this side now here you'll see what I meant by moving the piece around it just won't let me and if I try to put it in another place it's just not letting me at all it's really really frustrating on that side now I'm actually going to start putting all these pieces back in I want those walls gone from there and I'm gonna get back to actually doing my restaurant work you've seen how the glitch works you've got a very basic idea now there's a couple of other videos by some other people as well there's some nice instructions in some of the groups you've seen some lots of really good style design restaurants there's a lot out there in the community and I'm gonna be doing this again on Saturday as well for everybody that comes to my live stream now I hope you enjoyed that video this is my address in Japan by the way if you would like to send me some mail please do so I would love to get something from you and then I can reply back to you and we can chat as well postcards are very easy by the way if you would like to subscribe to my channel make sure you do hit that subscription button make sure you hit the notification as well and enjoy food street it's actually good fun even with this glitch as well take care toodle pip now bye